So what up? You telling me that you can burn more calories from eating? Yep. And I'm not even going to try to scam you with my raspberry ketones. Hey, Jim Schultz here for F-Cubed and livefcubed.com. And hey, man, if this is your first time being here, thank you. Before we get started, make sure you tickle that little sub button and let's begin. And today, we're going to talk about the thermic effect of food, which is basically the answer to the question, what is TEF, the thermic effect of food? And hey, man, make sure you guys hang with me till the end because I've got a free cardio training plan that you can download today that will literally melt fat off your frame. Say what? Like for real, man, you're gonna have these little pools of fat just all around the cardio equipment. The cleaning crew not gonna be happy with you. So for real, can you burn more calories from the foods that you eat? Absolutely. And man, I've been in the fitness world now for almost 20 years, and this is something that took me a while to figure out, and this is something that I don't think very many people realize. It's basically all about that thermic effect of food, the thermic effect of feeding your body. You see, when we ingest calories, our bodies actually have to work to absorb and digest that food. And so the simple consumption of calories itself is an activity that burns calories. And not all foods are created equally. I mean, there's a thermic effect of different foods. There's a big difference between, you know, the thermic effect of protein and the thermic effect of, let's say, non-fibrous carbohydrates. The thermic effect of protein, like chicken, or the thermic effect of fibrous carbohydrates, like, you know, fruits, vegetables, that can be up to 25%. That literally means that your body is burning up to 25% of the calories in the food just to consume the food. Now contrast that with, you know, non-fibrous carbohydrates, you know, like a Pop-Tart, they're only, you know, three, four, maybe 5%. So for example, let's say you eat an apple Let's say you eat 100 calories worth of an apple, a very high fiber fruit. Your body may only net, you know, 80 or 85 of those calories. Now contrast that with eating 100 calories worth of, you know, let's say chocolate chip cookies that basically have no fiber. Well, your body is likely going to net, you know, 96, 97 or 98 of those 100 calories. Now those may not seem like big differences to you. And admittedly, in an absolute sense, I mean, they're not. But if you do that every meal, so four, five times a day, for weeks, months on end, that's going to lead to drastically different outcomes. So why does it seem like some foods just kind of feel like these metabolic rate boosters? They just feel like they speed up your metabolism. Well, here you go. I mean, why do you think every bodybuilder worth their weight in sweet potatoes always eats chicken and broccoli for one of their meals. The thermic effect of food, bro. That's it. Q&A time, baby. Let's hit it. Question number one. So are all calories created equal? Well, yes and no. At the end of the day, a calorie is just a unit of energy. But squash calories and Skittles calories, those are going to be a little different. Question number two. So are you telling me that those raspberry ketones that Dr. Oz keeps pushing, those guys aren't legit? Is that a serious question? And lastly, question number three. So Jim, if I'm hearing you correctly, man, here's what I'm hearing. If I eat a bunch of fiber, I'm gonna be shredded. Yes, you are. You are gonna have to buy new shirts. You are gonna have to buy new pants. And you are gonna have to crap constantly. Hey, thank you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun little video. If you guys want to like, share, or subscribe, you know I would really, really appreciate that. But coming up next, here's a fun little hit car push session that I did back in the summer heat of Florida. Enjoy. 